Hi everyone, Elisa here from Mama and Ravel Crochet. Today I'm popping in because I got another new furrows hook. So I really like my furrows hooks. Now, they are fun and they are pretty. And I, I know not everyone is able to use them, but I've had a little bit of hand pain. So that is why I started buying furrows hooks and I just started buying around uh, Christmas time. I, I got a deal on Black Friday. And that's why I started buying them. Uh, but I really like them so far. And at this point, I don't, I do have a lot of projects I started. I'm trying to keep the same hook for my projects. Sometimes I might interchange my tulip or my clover, but I am not switching back and forth between furls and my non furls hooks for projects. So I go back and forth between the two hooks, but it has made a difference with my hand paint. The problem is though, that I love amigurumi. When I first started, I went to, uh, I love the boy hooks, uh, but just using the regular hook, it it kind of gave my hand some pain after a while because I quickly started picking up crochet and uh, started crocheting a lot, but that G hook really bothered my hand. So then I went to the, uh, I tried different brand, other off brands, and then I eventually found Clover and then I tried Tulip and I primarily use those two kind of hooks all the time. The problem is with their G hook, it's still skinny. It still has that tiny um, handle, even though it's got the grip on it. So it's bigger than the boy or the Susan Bates hooks. It's still too skinny for me. So I tried uh, furls and I got one in a lot of the main sizes I use, which is quite a variety. I go between G and L uh, are the main sizes I usually use, but I got them and because I wanted to give my hand a break when I was doing other big projects, but then also I wanted to be able to do more amigurumi because I love amigurumi. So I got originally my wooden G hook but I didn't think about it till after I saw someone else say something in the, um, ask that question in the first group. It just never occurred to me that, now I, it did occur to me that this is probably breakable. And also I didn't, I did not get a G in the, um, uh, the swirls. I didn't get a G cause I figured that would probably be even more breakable from reviews I saw on furrows beforehand. But then someone asked and said, is the G hook good for amigurumi? And I, and that never popped in my mind till I saw that question. And yeah, this is probably not good for amigurumi and I don't intend on finding out. So that's why I never said I was going to order the Odyssey hooks because they're very expensive. And I've seen mixed reviews about how people feel about the weight. So my, I never wanted to order them, but I decided that I'm buying one Odyssey hook in the G size so I could do amigurumi was worth it because it would relieve my hand pain and I could do I could do amigurumi and later on when all this crocheting I'm doing is catching up maybe my hand won't be as bad because I got a hook that was better it was healthier for my hand so there was a coupon at the time and I use it and I got a G hook so I got a, they called it silver bell. So I got my G hook, which I love. I was kind of worried I wouldn't like it, but I figured I was probably just going to deal with it anyway, because I, I do like amigurumi and it makes me joy bringing, it gives, provides me joy that a child could have a handmade animal or things like that. So I tried it out. And I've had this prop ball. Well, I opened it about a week ago. And I do love the Odyssey hooks. I really enjoyed using it. And let me show you. So it kind of spiraled. So I have three kids. And one has been eating his stuffed animal. Not like full on eating it. But like chews on it a little bit for reasons. And drags them everywhere. So... His animal has been sewn up about four or five times now. So I was like, well, that animal's not going to last forever. And it just doesn't mean as much as if I made that animal in crochet version. 
So these are all other patterns. Um, the first one I made is Ginger the Giraffe. This is a pattern from Repeat Crafter Me's book that came out a year or two ago where she has, for every letter of the alphabet, she has an animal. So this is Ginger the Giraffe. I think I overstuffed the stomach, but that's okay. So that's Ginger. And well, I couldn't just make one because like I said, I have three kids. So then the next request came in and my next one wanted a dog. So this is, I, I bought two of her patterns and I do want to buy more, but um, I've had this actually probably about six months that I've been meaning to do it, but I'm, I haven't been able to do amigurumi. Like I, I would do a leg and then I'd have to take a break. Whereas these guys, I spent about maybe started it Sunday, last Sunday, and I think I finished Friday morning, maybe Thursday, something th Friday morning. I was able to get all three done in with all the little pieces and everything. So th that made a huge difference. And I, I want to make more, but I got to take a break because I um, need to work on some of my other designs I'm working on getting the patterns out and things like that but this is a pattern by bunnies and yarn and she has all different size animals but she does do big animals so I did buy the dog pattern and I have a could be a dinosaur or a dragon pattern um and uh, that one I'll have to make eventually but I, I want to get the she's a giraffe and a cat I want to get so I'm gonna have to try that out and so this is her dog pattern and then she had an applique where you uh like on the pattern you put it out and you cut it out and just trace over it on felt and glue it on but i decided to crochet a dog bone instead and so my son we have a dog named breezy and then another dog um belongs to my mother-in-law but they love is her name's blondie so my son wanted a dog that is um represents them both so that's why it has a b it's b dog so that's b dog okay and then the last one this is my favorite amigurumi designer and i have to say i really like bunnies and yarn i do really like this pattern but i really like accessorize this design so what i like about hers is that she look at the leg look at the definition of the leg i really like amigurumi that is more than just like a straight thing for the leg and it has more definition I feel like it just makes it so cute and so this is um Scarlet the kitty cat and accessories to design she has a bunch of different patterns but when and this is what I first used to do all the time when I was first started doing amigurumi I did little ones too but she has a lot of patterns for the um blanket yarn where you can make big animals Hold on, i'll bring it back so she's patterns where you can make big animals and i know i've showed this before but this is the same exact cat as this one but she makes her patterns that she she her sample and everything's in the blanket yarn but then you can use worse it yarn for a tiny take along version too so i've made a lot of her patterns in fact this one right here is one of her patterns and then i've showed you this cat before and then I made a tiny version. Now, I didn't make the color. And what's cool too, I showed you, I like the definition. There's things you can make to kind of show the Paul definition. Now, I did not do that in this one because it's for a little child who is going to drag it around. And I figured they'd probably be teared apart. Because, I mean, she's only had this a day and it's already getting loved, very loved. But that's okay. So... Yeah, so this is accessorized this design and she has all kinds of patterns for like the big animals and then she's got she uses parfait to do more like medium sized animals and then she has some ragdolls too. She has all kinds of great patterns. Maybe I'll do another video one day of all the patterns I've made of hers. But that's the cat and I really like the yarn I chose. So I when I used to before I really learned a lot about crochet like Joann's or whatever would have their clearance sales or 
whatnot. And I would just get like one or two of a bunch of skeins. And now I have them and I don't know what to do with them, but um, I'm slowly finding uses for them. Like this is a clearance, a couple clearance skeins that I really liked. I love that color and I didn't know what to do with them. And then I, uh, the request was put out for a pink cat. And that's why I decided to use this yarn. And I thought it would look so cool and different to do that marled yarn for the cat. So this is Big Twist. And then I think I used loops and threads for the nose. I don't know what white was. I have a whole bunch of different whites. but And then these are just scraps from the eyes. But that's the cat. And I should tell you too, the yarn I used for this guy... All of this is, the, these two are Fine Brand Pound of Love, and then the ears and the eye, it's um, impeccable. And Michael's brand. And then this one is, these are both Pound of Love, and then, I'm not sure what this is, it's just scrap ball I had. It could be could be impeccable or it could be Joe uh, I mean AC Moore they had that a uh, basic yarn oh what is it I can't remember the name of it, but they had a very basic yarn and I had a bunch of tan in that but that's what that is so that's what I've done with my g-hook and I'm going to make more I've, I now have a request for a cat and I'm gonna make I have some other animals I want to make but I need to get back to my designs and then I'll have to work in some other ones, but these are the three I made. So, okay, that's all I have for you today. Just wanted to show you some of my latest work. I do have other things, but I wanted to specifically do an amigurumi video, well, partly because I'm really excited because I love amigurumi and my kids love these and I've seen other, I just love making the stuff for kids and seeing them love it that I just wanted to show them because I can do I'm a groomie again and it's very exciting. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.